Well, let's see now. I was in the hallway, blah, blah, blah. Hold that. Really? You're gonna hold that as well, even though you know the contradiction. Why were you hanging around that early in the morning? Okay, I said the card room service, sir. What on my way down? Mr. Ruben appeared from the stairs. Okay. I was watching Mr. Ruben, she was outside at real six and you were watching her? Yes, sir. I is there something wrong? There is, as a matter of fact. Why are you blushing? <laughs> Am I, sir? I, I didn't even notice. Yes, witness. You've turned quite a, a deep shade of red. Oh, the British is... <laughs> oh, it's nothing, Yon. I can assure you. Oh, dear. I think I know what's happening here. So why were you watching her so late at night? Oh, I think I know. This guy's a pervert. <laughs> Just like what happened with Miss May. This guy's such a pervert. I assure oh, you, I did nothing untoward, so. I was just leaving the second floor, heading towards the elevator. When I saw Miss Ruben appear from the stairs. I wonder what she was up to so late at night, so I silently watched what she was doing. Roughly a minute later, I heard a gunshot and a scream from the room. Here it is. Here it is. Mm hmm. Uh, where is it? Do we not have the piece of evidence here? Okay, we need to press it. We need to press it. Why, do you know the piece of evidence? No, don't you remember? Uh, we heard, uh. We heard the scream, then the gunshot. Oh, yeah. And I accidentally oh, pressed steam. Crap. You can't confirm that both sounds came from Crap, I need to... Okay. It's good. I actually, um... I accidentally clicked on Steam, so it went up. So I had to close it oh, down. Whoops. Absolutely, sir. Without a doubt. And that sounds like, um... That sounds like a red-white. <laughs> yeah. Hmm. There are a few things that bothers me about the Bell Boy right now. What should I ask? Oh, describe uh, the sounds. Describe the sounds. Can you describe the sounds you heard in much detail as you can? Very good, sir. It was a female scream, undoubtedly the defendant's resonant voice. But it was the gunshot that really made me jump out of my skin, sir. It was a loud, booming noise. Loud and booming, huh? Let's let's hold that again and let's try and press the other two. So. You noticed the gloves she was wearing? No, no, go back and uh, hold the other ones. Because remember, there were two other ones. I don't think they're relevant. I know, but let's just see. Because sometimes it actually does something. Uh, where were you? Yeah, where were you? Because that kind of makes sense. Because if he heard it from a different place than us, maybe he did, you know. Okay, wait for me to catch up. <laughs> okay, so click on that uh, when you get through there. Let me just... How am I gonna get rid of that cocoa when they do? Oh, come on, catch up. Don't worry, I'm just drinking water, so... I'm nearly out of water, so I have to go. Get some more later. Two hours and forty-five minutes. Isn't that just cool? wow? <laughs> <laughs> wow! God, how long is it taking to catch up? Crap! Maybe yours is lagging. No, 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 it's not. Trust me, it's okay. I just keep pressing the wrong statement. Okay, here we are. Why are you on the second floor? No, no, not that one. You clicked on that one, didn't you? It is why you on the second floor. I just remembered actually why he's on the second floor. Because he's the bellboy. No, he was he, exactly why was he on the second floor? What does it say? Uh, it is the right one, by the way. We need to know this. Oh, I'll just quickly um, say what it says when it says, where were you? I'll just say that quickly. Um, so Phoenix says, where, so where were you when you heard these sounds? 
Um, I was still in the second floor corridor, so... Uh, is there a problem? There is, actually. Why were you still on the second floor? I thought you were on your way down. Ahem, uh, uh, yes, well, the, the, the elevator wasn't working, sir. Oh yeah, it wasn't, was it? Wait, but you came up in the elevator, didn't you? Yes, it was functioning just fine when I used it. So what time did you arrive at the second floor? Um, it was about five minutes before Miss Rubin arrived, sir. Five minutes? My guess is M Maris was busy tending to a ruin at that time. Okay, I'll go to where you are. So are you sure it's the right one? Yeah, yeah, I'm sure. I just remembered why the bell was that. Okay, keep going. Are you in that power chip, so why are you doing on the second floor? Uh, I guess requested room service uh, is where I am. Okay. Actually, it was the victim, Mr. Nymph, sir. What? The bellboy delivered something to the victim, too? You mean the victim asked you to deliver something as well? Y yes, sir. I too thought it was a bit strange when Miss Rubin delivered something too. That's why I was watching her, you see. So what did you deliver to the victim? A cup of coffee, Your Honor. Memories. Coffee? Exactly the same thing Maurice delivered. Why would the victim order the same thing twice and at different times? Because there's two people. <laughs> Witness, are you sure it was coffee? Absolutely, undoubtedly, and indeed, sir. This is interesting. It didn't happen with this. Um, I'm fairly certain it was. No, 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 no! It didn't happen. There wasn't another cup found in the victim's room. Just the one the defendant brought in. That was quite a lot of questioning for one statement, Mr. Wright. Is there anything of value you wish to add to the testimony? Let's save here. Wait for me, I've got to catch up again. I didn't get that, uh, what you just got, so I'm just pressing the statement again to pick uh, why were you there. I know uh, what you have to press on, where it says, Yes, Your Honor, I'd like the bellboy to add this information to the testimony. I think it's the info on room so service. And it's also memories because, like, remember in the first game, um, you needed to ask him info on room service, and then you found out that there's two people with Miss. I guess actually, that's actually I picked bed making. <laughs> really? <laughs> yeah, and it worked. I picked room service. Uh, info on the gunshot. We need to pick. Why? Uh, memories. <laughs> okay. Witness, could you tell us more about the gunshot you heard? Very good, Mr. Witness. <laughs> well, it's as I said, sir. Okay, now we need to present the, uh, the gun. Why? Wait, wait, save first. Save, because I might not be right. <laughs> then that would mean that there was two gunshots. Maybe. Okay, this is another theory of mine. Yay, Raphael's theories. Um, but maybe he delivered, since, you know, maybe he delivered coffee two times at two different times. So, this one was at a different time. If you know what it's I mean. It's the gun, though. I was right, it is the gun. <laughs> so, maybe that gun was used two times. No, it's not. Uh, oh, I, could... I know. D do you know those those two guns in the yes. In the? Yes. yes I do. Remember when we were, when we came in, there was none of those. When we came in, he must have delivered the coffee. That would mean that somebody shot, you know, something there by that time. Then later on, when we came up and the the guns were back, um, and it was two. Then we found out about the murder, and so there's two different times here going on, if you know what I mean. Like a fake time and a real time. Yeah. I could go with that. 
Okay, let's present the gun. Are you sure this time was loud witness? Quite possibly the loudest sound I've ever heard, sir. Why, what's wrong? It just doesn't add up. Don't defense attorneys just speak frankly anymore. Get to the point. If the gun shot the billboard here was so loud and booming, then this gun could not have been the murder weapon. For you see, this gun is a small caliber revolver. Clearly something incapable of producing a, a loud sound. Ah! You have a point, Mr. Wright. A firearm of that size? Objection. I object. That. It. Er. Uh, I object! <laughs> Dude, that was awesome! <laughs> I, I. I object! Overall, please continue, Mr. Wright. Yes, Mr. Wright, please do continue. <laughs> Hmm. Found in and around the hotel around the guests. Yeah, there is. There's the other gun. Uh, the wall shield. Yep, I was right. Wait, what? This before Brisbane. Isn't that the shield on the wall of the hotel's but lobby? What? Wait. You're not. You. You're honestly not. I might be. That is suggesting that one of the pistols on the shield might have been the real murder weapon. Whoa, 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 whoa. Order! Order in the court! Mr. Wright, what are these items doing in a hotel? They are decorations, Your Honor. Antique flintlock pistols, which to my knowledge produce a very loud sound. Say that part again. Er, uh, they were antique flintlock pistols, which... Not that part. Something about those pistols being decorations. They must have been decommissioned for display purposes. Do you know that for a fact, Brisbane? Yeah, maybe one of them could be real and one of them might not, so... I need to drink some water. Okay, I'll just keep on reading. Uh, mm, you, why don't you ask the witness about them, then? Well, uh, <laughs> I'm not so sure about that myself, so... Hmm. Maybe these pistols are worth looking into. Bailiff, please contact the police department about an examination of the lobby's pistols. Okay, let me catch up. <laughs> While you were drinking, you should have, like, pressed on, like, the button. Or the mouse. Okay, I'm up to before you even think about such a thing. Yeah, before you even think about such a thing. I want Mr. Wrong to tell us why he thinks these pistols are even worth investigating. How do you mean, Mr. Brisdane? I want the defense to prove that these pistols were even touched that night. Easy. There was something I noticed about these pistols yesterday. I just need to remember what it was. Very well. The wash it was disturbed that night. I can prove this because of the dust. The dust was disturbed. Yep. Have a close look at the pistol once more. I couldn't put my finger on it before, but now I know what's wrong. The shield was covered in dust, but now if you look at the pistol on top... Wait, 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 let me catch it. Okay, here we go. no dust on it at all. Hmm, it does appear less faded than the other. Why, you're absolutely right. There's no dust on this pistol. Bailiff, order an examination of this pistol post-haste. Hold it. Well, who, who was that just now? Uh, that would have been me, Your Honor. Hold it. <laughs> Mr. Wright, I hope I haven't caused you any inconvenience. But I couldn't see that pistol anywhere in the victim's room that night, sir. Huh? Uh, I wasn't at the scene. Brisbane was right. Hold on a minute. What do you mean, you couldn't find it? Oh. I, I, I... I was the first person- oh my god, there's so many people on my Skype right now. <laughs> I was the first person to stumble upon the scene, sir. What? Why didn't you tell us about this before, witness? It must have slipped my mind, your honor. I apologize profoundly. You can apologize by testifying as to what you found. So the bellboy was the one at the scene before the other guests? What did he see? Will it change anything? Part 2 
The door was ajar. I entered. There's that word again, ajar. I don't know what. I entered literally seconds after I heard that noise. She just stood there. The victim was lying dead with the revolver on the floor. She was muttering the word ghost, but she was the only person in the room. Ghost, you say? Are you sure you heard her correctly, witness? I'm fairly certain that was what she was saying, sir. Oh, come on, Judge. You can't seriously believe this. Hmm. Maybe the defendant was mistaken. You may begin this cross-examination, Mr. Wright. I'm sorry, Miss Rubin. Okay, we just need to press everything. Mm-hmm. I can't find anything wrong with that, so... <clears throat> the door was ajar and the blah blah blah. Uh, many seconds. I'm not in the habit of remembering exact measurements of time, sir. Basically, I headed for the victim's room as soon as I heard the noise. Uh, and you were, were about to use the elevator, correct? That's correct. I, s I see. So when you entered, what was Miss Rubin doing? She just stood there. The victim was lying dead with the revolver in the hole dead. Can you describe in more detail exactly what you saw, witness? Exactly, you say. Well, Miss Rubin was standing not too far from the door. She was frozen with shock and she was stammering incoherently to herself. I don't think she even heard me come in, sir. My attention was then drawn to the broad body lying face up in the middle of the room. Then I saw the gun. It was about ten feet away from the body, near the bed. Mm -hmm. Eric, this doesn't help me at all. Maybe, maybe, the times were switched. For, remember my theory, where I said that the one that he went to was the fake time, the one after that was the real time with Phoenix. I think it switched around. I think that one where he was was the real one, and then the one after that was, you know, that one was with Phoenix. So the one with Phoenix was a fake one. It was uh, just, okay. yeah, it was just an alert bullet. Psst. Thought you'd stumble on something to help your case. Start producing evidence or this cross examination's over. Well, oh, he's okay, evil. Better go, blah, blah. You know that for a fact. I'm afraid I have to disagree with you, sir. There are no other exits from the guest rooms apart from the doors. And the windows don't open wide enough for somebody to squeeze through. Correct under the investigation turned up same in facts too. So stop grasping and start producing evidence wrong. Unless you're trying to prove that this ghost actually existed. She couldn't have been seen things. Maybe she did see another being in the room. But how do I prove something like that? There has to be a reason Marie saw someone. I believe you examined the witness testimony enough by now, Mr. Wright. Have you found any contradictions or not? I... Uh, I can't... I can't even think, let alone prove that Marie's sorry is true. Okay, what? I need to... more time to investigate. Uh, no, Your Honor. Uh, the defense has nothing to say. My, my, are you admitting defeat, Mr. Wong? Far from it, Bris Brisbane. Your Honor, I'd like more time to investigate. More time, but the crime scene has been thoroughly investigated enough already. What would you possibly gain from examining it again? He has a point. Looking at the crime scene again would bring about any new results. So what or where should I request to examine? Oh, the Honor, first floor. I believe there is a part of the hotel yep. that was being looked. Nothing has been overlooked. Snow was under my careful watch yesterday. Not that careful, seeing as you left him, on, left him at the crime scene on his own. May I continue? Psh, go ahead. You're wasting your time, though. So tell us, Marty, what part of the hell should be hotel should be in First floor. First floor, yeah. <clears throat> the first floor. Why is that floor in particular? The night before the murder, as I was checking into the hotel, Miss Rubin told me something. Promise me, you won't go to the first floor. It's just that, with the reno renovations going on, it's quite dangerous up there. Oh, uh, no problem. Why would I want to go to the first floor anyway? 
Did you and Snow check the first floor at all? Uh, I don't believe we did, no. You didn't? Why ever not? Two reasons. One, you heard the defense there were apparently renovations going on. And two, we didn't find it relevant. The crime happened on the second floor after all. I see. I agree with the defense. I believe a full investigation on the hotel is required. Therefore, I grant the police permission to investigate the first floor. I have to agree with Brisbane, though. How exactly can the first floor be relevant? But it's the only untouched part of the hotel. There has to be something. Thank you for your testimonies, bellboy. You may step down from the sand now. The pleasure was all mine, your honor. Anything I can do for justice. I grant permission for one more day of investigation. Namely, the first floor of the Ma Maplethorpe Hotel. However, if no new information or evidence is found before the court reconvenes tomorrow, the victim will be found guilty. Or, yeah. The court will regard the bellboy's testimony as reliable and, well, yeah. More day of investigation. I have to find something, or this will have all been for nothing. Very well. The trial will continue tomorrow morning. Court is adjourned. April 3rd, 12.47pm, District Court, Defendant Lobby Number 2.